Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the weekly reading for the sign of Virgo. We're going to be taking a look to see what messages Spirit has for you this week. Um, this is a general collective reading, so this will not resonate with every person that watches this video. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. This may not be your reading at all. So that's what, you know, that's why it's important to take what resonates and leave the rest. So I do offer personal readings if you're interested in that. There's information in the description box on how they book a personal reading with me. All right, let's see what's going on for my Virgo. Mm, some of you guys can be dealing with an air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then we also have water here. We have the King of Swords and the King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Interesting. Knight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Hmm. The Emperor. The Hermit. Seven of Wands. The star. So first off, guys, I do see um, you guys getting through some type of obstacle. There's going to be some type of obstacle that's conquered here. Um, and it's going to lead to some type of peace peace in a situation. Or I also see somebody might possibly putting up their guard. And it's going to lead to some type of peace and healing. Somebody's going to start focusing on their stability. Stepping into their power. Looks like something is going to be brought to justice here. Something's going to be balanced out. If somebody was not doing their equal share in a situation or somebody was. There's something here about possibly finances. Somebody is going to get um, some type of karma in regards to finances or maybe abandoning somebody, leaving somebody out in the cold, making somebody feel bad about themselves. It looks like somebody wants to do right by somebody for leaving them out in the cold or abandoning them. And somebody's having a, um, somebody may be returning to a past person is what I'm seeing here. And having a new beginning in love. Hmm. We're going to be taking a look to see what this means for you guys. Some of you guys could have a choice between two people. You guys may be receiving some type of communication that's going to kind of put you guys in some type of like anxiety or um, some not being able to sleep at night. It's going to weigh heavy on you is what I'm seeing here. And there's going to be a need for you to take back your power, focus on your stability, focus on your own self growth, putting up boundaries and healing yourself is what I'm seeing here. All right, what's this King of Swords? Queen of Wands. Ah. This is a third party situation, guys. Somebody this somebody you're dealing with could be communicating something to you about another person, is what I'm seeing here. You may find get some type of communication from somebody you're dealing with. Some type of clarity about a third party here. Somebody hasn't been being honest about a third party, possibly. Or somebody feels like they made the wrong choice. Mm. What's this King of Cups? Somebody is frustrated because there's been a lack of progress. Or things have been moving slowly in a situation. What does this mean for my Virgos? Six of Cups. King of Swords. Okay. 
Somebody feels like the past has been holding them back. If you were with this person in the past, they may feel like you, you like something about your relationship. If this is a person from your past, they feel like something about the past is holding them back. Now they're trying to make, be more logical. They're taking some type of action. I feel like this person may be returning to a past person hmm, or telling you the truth about a situation. What's this Knight of Swords? You're going to be getting communication that somebody feels like there's something that they haven't. There's something in their life that's unfinished, incomplete, that they're feeling empty and that they have no closure in a situation. What does this mean for my Virgos? This is a little bit of a complex reading. Mm. What does this mean for my Virgos? Judgment, a decision being made. They've gained some type of clarity that they want to break up. That they want, they've gained clarity that they want to break up. They don't want, they feel like they're codependent on you. They've been very disappointed with how things have gone with you. Nine of Swords. So what I'm seeing here is that this person feels like they have unfinished business with somebody else. And they're going to be communicating to you that they want to return to somebody, something from the past. All right, struggling. Yeah, I feel like this is going to maybe give you guys, uh, it's going to kind of guy, it's going to knock you guys off balance a little bit. It's going to overwhelm you a little bit. Somebody has an inability to commit to you because they're juggling here. Yeah, somebody's juggling you and another person. What's the emperor? If this is a codependent situation, spirit saying that you need to focus on freeing yourself from this. You need to work. You're too codependent on this person. You need to focus on stabilizing your own life because of obviously this person's not solid. Five of Cups, yeah, because it's going to lead to disappointment, loss, regret, grief, abandonment, feeling unloved, disappointment. What's the hermit? There's that Queen of Pentacles in reverse again. I, I promise you guys. I feel like all of the readings I've done today, the Queen of Pentacles have has can't has come out in reverse there is you guys have people somebody around you or somebody around your person that wants money if you guys were trying to stay with this per if you guys were trying to stay with this person for money i feel like spirit saying that you need to focus on you're independent. You need to free yourself from this person. Become financially independent from this person. You're too codependent. Or your person has somebody around them that is wanting them for money. But I feel like it's a codependency. Because the Queen of Pentacles is your energy. Um, Spirit's saying that you're too codependent on this person. You need to really do some soul searching. Uh, maybe take a step step back from everything, spend some time alone to gain some wisdom and to plan your next steps and how do you how you're going to become um free from this situation or free from this person. What's the seven of wands? Giving up. Yeah. Things are not going to progress in this situation. You're gonna feel like you have no control over the situation. Somebody's giving up though. Somebody is not. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer. Somebody is giving up on this situation. They're, they've lost pa like the passion for it. Somebody has a lack of passion to move things forward. What's the star? It looks like though, guys, that after you guys, if you go through this healing, you're going to be manifesting a lot of inner happiness. You're going to be manifesting fulfillment, harmony, Possibly a, a family in the future for yourself. Um, love, support, your dreams manifesting. But you have to release this other situation. You have to free yourself. What's the justice card? Yeah, there's something. There's going to be some type of. Uh...
I feel like there's something that's going to be brought to light. You're going to be getting some type of clarity. Um, justice is going to be brought to a situation here because somebody, and it may, it's going to have, it may cause a tower moment, guys. It could just be very, un, something that you're not really ready for. It could just be an upheaval. It could cause a little bit of chaos here. Um, but I feel like you guys are going to be finding out that It's like maybe this person doing this to you is going to create a lot of confusion for you. It's something that you're not going to see coming. Um, it's going to create a tower moment, moment for you. But Spirit's saying that they have recognized how much work that, how you've been working hard. Justice will be served to you. And it may not have nothing to do with this person. You know what I mean? It, it, could, be have, it could be in the form of you receiving this Ten of Cups. This ultimate happiness, inner happiness, family, support, fulfillment, dreams coming true. The spirit saying that even though this is going to catch you off guard, even though this is probably not what you wanted, maybe things haven't been coming together for you as fast as you want. They're coming together. You're going to reap the rewards of your, you know, your labor. You're going to get it. Justice, you're going to receive some type of justice. All right. But you have to take these and you have to free yourselves from this conflict. This is a this is a situation of conflict. You need to free yourself from the conflict. You need to focus on your own stability, freeing your not being codependent on um on this person. And you're gonna manifest this ten of cups. All right, guys. So that's what I'm seeing here for you. I'm not going to extend this reading. Um, but like I said, I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description box. But if not, the link, goodness, guys. Um the <laughs> The information for how to book a personal reading with me is in the description box. But if you're not interested in that, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.